Traitor. Utility crates, which look like toolboxes, can give one of nine bonuses. Double damage for the turn, double turn time, crate spy, which lets you see what are in all the crates, crate shower, which showers down crates for the turn, and the five utilities in the weapons menu. Jetpack, laser sight, fast walk, low gravity, and invisibility. To speed things up in a game, when a crate is parachuting down, press the space bar and the crate will fall quickly. At the end of your turn, hold down the R button for a replay. The replay will happen for almost any move. The game will automatically do replays if a lot of damage is dealt or multiple worms are killed. There is always a replay for the final move of the game. Replays can be turned on or off in the game options menu. When using a ninja rope, you can select another droppable weapon like dynamite or a mine. Press enter to drop it and continue using ninja rope to get away until the weapon explodes. This can also be done with the jetpack, bungee rope, and even the parachute. Press the F keys based on the weapons menu to find your weapon and press enter to use. This is a vital skill to master because you can deal massive damage and escape to minimize retaliation. When using any kind of grenade, you can adjust the fuse time limit by pressing numbers 1 through 5 for the number of seconds until detonation. Lengthen the time if your target is a long ways away or at the bottom of a hole, and shorten it for closer targets. The dash button and equal sign button on the keyboard will change the bounciness of the grenade, either min or max. Sheep, super sheep, and old women can collect crates for you. In the multiplayer setup screen, teams are listed in order by their score. If they have the same score, they are listed alphabetically. Computer-controlled teams are at the bottom. The highest amount of teams you can have is 32. Trust me, I've tried to make more. When a worm's health goes to zero, it will blow itself up as a last goodbye, damaging nearby worms. This can create a chain reaction which kills other worms, causing them to blow up, which kills other worms, and so on. The battle axe weapon always halves the worm's health, no matter what. So if you battle axe a worm with two health, it will go to one health. If the worm has an odd number for health, the health rounds up. Single up, man out! In the weapons menu, under cheats, there are five unlockable weapons and five unlockable upgrades. The weapons are laser sight, jetpack, fast walk, invisibility, and low gravity. They are unlocked by beating certain missions up to the 20th mission. The five upgrades are Super Banana Bomb, Aqua Sheep, Longbow, Shotgun, and Grenade. The Super Banana Bomb is the same as a Banana Bomb, except the user manually detonates the primary and secondary cluster explosions. The Aqua Sheep makes the Super Sheep able to go underwater, and the other three upgrades greatly increase their damage. These are unlocked by getting gold on the various training courses. The super weapon Mike's Carpet Bomb is named after a carpet business near the Team 17 studios. It is an extremely powerful version of the airstrike as explosive rolls of carpet are dropped from the sky. To unlock full wormage mode, get gold in all missions, gold in all training games, and elite ranking in deathmatch mode. Hold the shift button and left or right click to fine tune the game options. When you parachute and jump in the air, you can use the directional buttons to influence where you move. It's great if you have to backflip over tricky terrain. If you hit a worm across the water, it will skip like a flat stone. Baseball bats work the best for this. One of the unlockable maps is Psy, as in science, and is a gigantic turd with a lemon and other pieces of food stuck in it with thought bubbles coming from the food. There are four unlockable cheats in the game options. Get gold on basic training for the blood cheat, in which small drops of blood spray out of a worm when it is damaged. Gold on crazy crates training unlocks sheep mode, which makes all crates yield the sheep weapon. Elite on deathmatch unlocks invincible worms. With this activated, worms do not have health and can only die from drowning. The final cheat is indestructible landscapes. Pretty self-explanatory. 
beat the 25th mission to unlock. There are numerous references to major events in pop culture in Worms Armageddon. In the map editor, the golf landscape objects are tanks, helicopters, jet fighters, and white flags. The Easter landscape is a combination of Easter bunnies, candy, and Easter Island statues. A lot of the weapon descriptions are also references. The Mad Cow, fresh from the British stockpile, comes from Mad Cow Disease, which mostly affected Britain. The movie Sudden Impact for Handgun, Apocalypse Now for the Napalm Strike, Toy Story for Jetpack, and Forrest Gump for Fast Walk. Patsy's Magic Bullet is Lee Harvey Oswald's homing bullet, capable of curving around terrain and changing its direction to hit the target. The flamethrower quotes the doors, Armageddon puts a spin on the Beatitudes, the mouse strike is for going postal, and the blowtorch mentions the dark side, or a hide and defend style of gameplay. The mission, Operation Market Garden, was a failed allied attempt to end World War II early. The Agent Dennis mission is played on a giant map of the Team 17 logo, and a later mission is played on the giant Micro Pros level, just some really subtle self-promotion. One of the default AI teams is called Royalty, so you get to fight the British elite. Another team called Nasty Crew has Vinnie Jones, the British actor known for playing tough guys. Revenge is sweet. Thank you for watching. Check out my other Worms Armageddon videos.